kindly keep in mind that I have to manage all the funds Mother left and that I have what I consider to be a sacred duty to the family. It's up to me to make a profit. Why do people always speak of money as sacred? Maybe because it is. And the way the museum is going, there is no choice. I'll have to kill it. What did you say? Oh, now, let's not be shocked. And let's not make me the villain. You've known what this inventory would mean. <laughs> You've been keeping me from it for months. We can't go on pouring money into this place. We'd be several million dollars richer, and all of us, if we just got rid of this silly place finally and, 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 and sold the contents. Just as my brother will find out about the things that you've stolen from us. Why didn't you tell him I worked here? Why didn't you tell your brother what you think I did? Why did you let me keep on working here if you knew? Because I need you. Yeah. What for? To arrange a robbery, for which I'll pay you $100,000 in cash. It's my wife. Come on, we better get out of here. This is Dr. Tim Schaefer speaking. I'm not on call this weekend. However, if you wish to leave a personal message for me, you have 30 seconds in which to do so. Kindly wait for the beep. Tim, it's Milton. I'm calling from a phone booth. I haven't got another dime. Tim, can you get here by 9.30? I can't wait for 20 minutes. T Tim, I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm in real trouble. Hey. Hey, don't, don't please her. I'll... Clinton, what are you doing here? Shh. I have the passport and the money with me. I won't be able to meet you later. Quickly, take the briefcase over to the phone booth. Mr. Schaefer. Almost two o'clock in the morning. What, what are you doing here? Oh, I do wish everyone would stop asking me that. Some watch. See something, sir? Yeah, his watch is wrong. My watch costs $30. His must have cost a couple of hundred, and it's wrong. It says May 1st. Goes to show you, money doesn't buy quality. Lieutenant, it is May 1st. Your watch is wrong. His watch is right. Oh. Well, what do you expect for $30? That looks like an insect bite, sir. No, Sergeant. It's not an insect bite. I think that Mr. Schaefer was leaving the country right after the robbery. That he was going someplace tropical. You see, it wasn't an insect bite. Last year, my wife and I, we went on a vacation to the islands, and I had a mark just like that on my arm. And you know what it was, Miss Lytton? It was a vaccination. I see. All right, Lieutenant, you proved your point that 
Mr. Schaefer was going to leave the country. However, it doesn't mean that he was going to leave the country tonight. Now, don't forget that after the robbery, he would be a wanted man. I would think that it would be difficult for a wanted man to shop, to get a vaccination. He would do everything first. And I think he would wear the new clothes that he bought if he liked them. Schaefer couldn't have waited. He was, in many ways, a childlike man. I'm sure his brother has told you that already. Shall we leave, Lieutenant? It's getting dark now. We might as well, otherwise I'd... I'd sit here forever. I'll walk you home, Miss Lytton. That's it. I beg your pardon? Nothing in this room had been touched, ma'am. Nothing had been touched. Don't you understand? Nothing. Don't you see? Mother wouldn't even let anyone touch the light switch because I told him to leave everything just the way it was. That means the lights were off last night. Only they couldn't have been. It would be impossible for two men to shoot and kill each other in a dark room. Where is the light switch, Miss Whitman? Right over here. That's it. That's what he did. He? Whoever murdered your brother and Mr. Schaefer. I'm afraid I don't quite understand, Lieutenant. Why couldn't one of them have turned the lights on? They could have. But after they were dead, Miss Lytton, who turned them off? Very similar to yours. Works the same, only the case is different. Uh, my watch, I was just wondering if you knew about this. My watch lost a day yesterday. Uh, I was wondering, do no, you know what... No, it didn't lose a day. All calendar watches are adjusted to have a 31-day month. Now, last month had 30 days. Does your watch say the first instead of the second? Yes, mm. the first. Here, give it to me. You see, in a 30-day month, you have to turn your watch 24 hours ahead, or else it'll say the 31st instead of the first. You have to pass the 12 twice. The stem is very tight, isn't it? Oh, yes. You know, I was afraid to turn it at all. You see, I figured anything that tight wasn't supposed to move. Thank you very much for trying to do that. Oh, that's all right. I do it all day long. Showed Mr. Schaefer how to do it for 20 minutes. Took me another 20 minutes to explain it to him, with the manager leaning on the door. Are you? Fine, considering. You better put a robe on or something. Lieutenant Columbo is here to ask some questions. Hell of a thing. Makes you grow up kind of fast. You know how to keep a secret. What kind of secret? I just know that you have one. I know the look. My brother-in-law had that look the day he died. Does Janie know that you and her father were once engaged? Of course, I have no secrets from Janie. None? Only one. I gather that you've been reading old society columns and birth certificates. I became curious when you told me about Peter Brandt. Lieutenant, that is a part of my life that I don't discuss with anyone. And I don't feel that I know you well enough to discuss it with you now. None of my business. Oh, by the way, I do have one little problem, Miss Lytton. It's about the alibis. Aren't you satisfied that we were all telling the truth about where we were at the time of the murders? The problem is... the murders didn't take place at 9 o'clock. I thought you said that Mr. Schaefer made a phone call into an answering machine on a tape and that he mentioned the time. He did. He was lying. I understand the note that Mr. Schaefer had now, uh, the one that said turn ahead twice at midnight. 
I have no idea what you're talking about. Mr. Schaefer had a calendar watch like mine. Has to be set to May 1st by hand. In order to do that, you have to turn it past the 12 twice after midnight. Mr. Schaefer's watch had been set to May 1st. Lieutenant, I better tell you something before you find out yourself. There's an artifact missing from the museum. Oh, what kind of artifact? It's gold. It's a small rectangular piece with carved stripes on it. It's worth quite a lot of money. That cheeseburger is nice and hot. I just picked it up. Adam put everything on it. Don't know if you like onions or not, do you? No. Okay, okay. Do you recognize it or not? Yes. It's the briefcase that Schaefer used in the robbery. I'm releasing your niece in my cognizance, Miss Lee. Releasing her? That's right. I don't think she killed anybody. And I don't think she stole this either. She'd been using it all afternoon as an ashtray. She doesn't even know what it is. What is it? Janie, for heaven's sake. Your aunt's been teaching you Byzantine art for three months, don't you know? No, she doesn't. And she doesn't even know how we happen to be looking for it. And she doesn't know how we knew that it was missing for two weeks before the murder. It's your brother's voice. It's from the inventory that he was taking. This tape is dated April 30th. Miniature incised gold piece, Bronze Age. One inch square. Miniature halberd, same period, inch and a half. Gold mounted button, green, same period. Gold beaker, same period, six inches. Halberd, one inch square, miniature. Large gold belt buckle, Bronze Age. Three and a half by five inches. Sergeant Miller and I, we thought it was a dish. We were wrong. Wasn't a dish. It was a gold belt buckle. And it was there the night that Edward died. It was never missing at all. Lieutenant, I don't know what you're talking about. And you never will, Mrs. Brandt, unless this case goes to trial. And then it will all come out. Just one more thing.